I'd be so careless. All right. Today, we're gonna be doing an homage to my favorite trilogy of all time, Back to the Future. Argue with me as you will, it is by far the best trilogy ever made. Uh, we're going to be upgrading our main Chia node, which hosts all of our plots, uh, because we need to increase the bandwidth of that one server. We've got a new 2.5 gigabit switch, 2.5 gigabit controller, and a Cat 6E cable. So this is gonna be the bare minimum to upgrade our network and allow for the Goose, Goose server, uh, to accept at least 2.5 um, full bandwidth for uh, all of the, the plots that are gonna be sending to it. So uh, stay along for the ride and will Chia in the future. Okay, so today we're going to be upgrading my network. And the way we're going to be doing that is we're just adding a two and a half gig switch with a CAT6 cable and a 2.5 gigabit network adapter. The reason why we're only going to be upgrading this portion of the network is because all of my plotting and farmers, not farmers, but all my plotters are going to be sending multiple plot completions to this one drive. We currently have three, um, three files being sent to Goose right now. As we can see, uh, each one of these files are going to a separate drive so that the bottleneck is not the drive itself because the bottleneck will be on the drive if you're sending all to the same drive. Uh, however, we are sending three separate files to three separate drives. So these three drives here are being sent to. As you can see on Goose, we're oversaturating the gigabit uh, connection here. So it's at its theoretical max, sending at one gigabit per second. I've been timing it, it's been about 28 minutes uh, so far, and that's going at 55 megabytes per second on Maverick, 55 megabytes, and then Viper's basically just taking the scraps. So it's been running for about 30 minutes now, uh, and basically Viper's not going to ever really complete uh, as long as there's other files that are gonna be sending. So because each one of our plotting rigs is gonna be finishing a plot in about an hour, there's a high chance that there's gonna be several uh, multiple files going at the same time. And if each one of those files is going at 30 minutes, it's just gonna compound and compound and compound, and it's not gonna be able to send uh, the files fast enough for it to ever really catch up. So we upgraded these three things, and it should be finishing up pretty soon here, about two minutes. So. It's gonna be about 30, 30 to 35 minutes to transfer two files, but because we're sending three, and if we were sending them in concession, so one after another, uh, these, uh, some of the other files, so Viper would, would never complete. It would just be plotting, and then it would never be able to send the file fast enough to get to Goose in order to send a new file. So because we've oversaturated this, we're hoping that the 2.5 gigabit uh, connection will allow us to, in theory, run at 100%, 150% faster than what we currently are. So this file would take, it's taken 30 minutes, should take about 15 minutes, uh, and each, and that's with three files being sent at the same time. So uh, we're gonna do the testing on that and I'll, I'll post my results. The hardware that we used to upgrade is relatively cheap. The reason why we did this was because we it's very expensive to upgrade your full network if you want to change everything. Uh, this is the QNAP uh, switch that I got. It was basically the cheapest 2.5 gigabit switch I could find, but it's still a good product. QNAP is very well 
in, uh, in security and networking. So um, we've got this for about 143 Canadian. It'll be a lot cheaper in the States, probably. Maybe you can even get one for 120 in the States. Uh, we picked up one of these 2.5 gigabit Ethernet uh, controllers that's in Goose. And then we picked up, uh, well, we didn't pick up this exact cable, but we took a 15 foot uh, Cat 6 cable in order to be able to hit those transfer speeds that we want to do. So now that this one is about done in 45 seconds, it'll be about 32 minutes to send, send these two here. Uh, once those two are finished sending, then I'm assuming Viper will increase in speed because we don't have cascading files being sent. So we'll be able to see that. So that one's successful again a little bit over 31 minutes. This file here will be done in a few seconds in about 3120 and now Viper should go up to 110 to 111 megabytes per second. So uh, if we would have several files that were continuously sent, this configuration would never work uh, to be sending to one NAS or one location because we're constantly going to be oversaturating the, the network and it's not the limitation is not on the drives, it's on the network. So um, so let's see if we can pump out a little bit more uh, with the new configuration. All right, so I just unpacked the QNAP 2.5 gigabit router and I noticed something that's quite annoying. The ports are on the front which means that I'm assuming all of the uh, connection LEDs are going to be reading on the front, except that means you can't have any uh, readouts on the back. So the way a traditional switch will work is you connect it, all the connections in the back, and then you have the front readout where there's the connectivity, the power, and the activity lights. With this one, I'm going to have to have this facing out the back and I'm not going to be able to see any connectivity lights whatsoever on this. So that kind of sucks, but we're going to do it and I'll do a quick time lapse of me running into the server room and, and swapping it out. All right, so I wanted to show you guys back here. Uh, it looks like chaos, but it's actually uh, very well done. Um, so. Right now, I have to basically, I'm gonna reattach this power squid to the server rail here. Uh, then we're going to be undressing uh, a few of these uh, zip ties and making sure that we can use, uh, this is a gigabit switch and we're going to be uh, installing the 2.5 gigabit switch here. Um, the issue is that this has all of the plugs in the front, so it's going to have to sort of face in here like that, and I'm not going to be able to see the, the control lights, which kind of sucks. But c'est la vie when you buy a $150 piece of equipment. So I'll try and videotape this if I can, but it's, it's, quite, pat it's quite tight back here, and uh, turned off all of the servers so it's quiet, but uh, it's very hard to move, so I'll see what I can do. Somehow that seems to work a little bit. You're not going to know what the hell I'm doing, but at least you can see me time lapse. So the reason why this is taking so long is because you got to make sure that when these servers are pulled out, 
they're not snagging on anything as well as they have enough slack. So this one here, I had to tie up the slack um, along the rail so that when it gets pulled out, well, see, there's a piece here that, that's gonna catch. So I have to make sure that this is up here. So even this piece now needs to be tied somewhere. So you gotta make sure that when these rails are moving back and forth, that they're not getting caught on anything and that's what takes so long. Okay, so everything's connected now. This is the gigabit switch. It's got a little bit of tension because I have to pull the rack back. And then this is the new 2.5 gigabit that has uh, the four, uh, I guess, farmers slash plotters slash mining rigs on it. Then the rest of the network is on the gigabit switch here, uh, plus the two ports that are being used for my Plex server on the main router. So uh, we did a good cleanup job. I could probably tidy these a little bit, except I need as much slack as possible for these ones because they run uh, through the house. And I have a bunch here that have been run through the house, but they're not connected to anything in the network yet. Uh, so it's all done. We've connected the 2.5 gigabits and we're gonna see how that works. All right, so it's a lot later in the day. Uh, there was an NHL game going on. The Montreal Canadiens defeating the Vegas Golden Knights in game five. I know most of you guys don't really care about that, but it's a pretty big thing in Canada. Even though I do not root for the Habs, um, I'm an Ottawa Senators boy. However, uh, it was a big win today for the Habs. And anything Canadian, I love except for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So moving on. Uh, so we have everything finished. Um, I've already tested this and the results are way better than I anticipated. Uh, I may have miscalculated what I expected. My expectations were three computers uh, transferring at basically 2.5 gigabit per second. My calculations are correct. When this baby hit 2.5 gigabits, you're gonna see some serious shit. which would equivalently be 250 gigabytes per second. Maybe I'm wrong, but that was my expectations. Uh, so what we have here is we've got uh, Maverick, Viper, and Goose. They're all back up and running. Um, again, we're going to do the same test where Viper, Maverick, and my gaming PC are gonna transfer three files at the same time to Goose, all on three separate uh, drives and to see how fast those go. And I've already done this, so spoiler alert, this is awesome. So we're gonna start the Viper move, then we're gonna to go to Maverick, as well as we're going to start copying a plot from my gaming computer. And what we find, which is incredible, and this is not cached because I've already done this test, spoiler alert, is all three computers are sending at a consistent 92 to 93 megabytes per second. So here is the gaming computer that's transferring to uh, Chia Plots 4, and then we have Maverick, which is sending at 93 megabytes per second again to Chia Plots 2, and Viper to Chia Plots 3. All three of those shares are on uh, Goose, which are separate drives. So we've got Chiplots 2, Chiplots 3, Chiplots 4. And now the ethernet is maxing out at 2.4, 2.5 gigabits per second. I thought it was going to be averaging around uh, 250 megabytes per second, but it's actually averaging more around 280. So if we take a look at Viper again, it's still at 92, 93 megabits per second, megabytes and Maverick still transferring at 93 as well as this computer that we're on here is 93. So that is amazing with a very easy upgrade of three components, a switch, 2.5 gigabit switch, one uh, six, uh, Cat6 cable, 
as well as one uh, 2.5 gigabit NIC, I'm able to send three file transfers at 93 megabytes per second on average uh, to one computer. So that is an amazing success. I'm really happy. Uh, minimal financial involvement by upgrading just three components, a cable, the switch, and the um, expansion card. Three things I'm allowed now to get three uh, consistent transfers of 93 megabytes per second to that drive. So anytime I finish a plot, it's gonna be about 15 to 17 minutes at most when it was the previous uh, time was 32 minutes for two and then one would never finish. So if I had a continuous of three file transfers, it just wouldn't work because it would be about 32 minutes per for the first two files and then the last file never would complete. It was at about uh, a day or so. So this is an incredible upgrade, very minimal. I showed you the products that I purchased. It was about 130 bucks Canadian total. Uh, taxes included, which is going to be less American. So if you have multiple plotters and you're sending them all to one NAS, you want to try and maximize that network storage with 2.5 gigabit, maybe five. But after 2.5 gigabit, the price for a uh, switch and the um, the adapter gets quite a bit more expensive. So. For minimal price increase, you can upgrade your network with just three components, one cable, uh, and it's just consistent. Uh, this is this is this is this actually exceeds my expectations for this upgrade, and now I can have three plotting machines sending directly to Goose uh, without having to worry about bottlenecks of you know, days and days of just continually trying to transfer these plots. So it'll transfer within 17 minutes, all three of them. A plot takes an hour and that's, so that's completely fine. So this was an amazing success. I'm really happy you guys joined uh, for this video. Um, I loved the Back to the Future theme and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Next up, what we'll be doing is hopefully we'll be hitting up some of those pools and starting to chart uh, some of our plots to a pool. If not, we will be upgrading probably more hard drives into Goose and starting to get ready for the pools. But anyways, this was an awesome upgrade. I'm really happy that you guys stayed for the ride and um, this exceeded my expectations, but I'm really happy that I was able to do it. So thanks, stay tuned, and uh, we'll chia in the future.